welcome to adobe animate cc i'm going to start by clicking on action strip tree and there we go let's move the string up a little bit here and right click on the string and then let's change that to uh, let's go for the stage let's go for about 1000 we can just type that in there there and let's paint this one maybe 800 and see how that will look okay we change the back color let's change that to something grayish there right there guess you guys can see it or maybe i should just leave it as white for now so that you can all see it properly because it can always be changed or lighten it a little bit right there now let's come here and just zoom in so that you can see what i'll be working on that is good the next thing i like to do now is come here to the rectangle tool and click on that but i also need to change the color i intend to use let's change that to something dark okay now let's draw the rectangle here somewhere that is supposed to be a rectangle and i'm going to change the color of that very rectangle to something darker let's fill it up grab the bucket and just fill that up that's black really yeah yeah that's fine and the next thing is let's find out the size of that it's about 300 plus okay let's make it 230 right now the next thing is now we then grab the rectangle again just draw it across there that width as well let's make that very width 230 right and now let's change the color now, i think we'll leave the color as black as well get rid of this strobe line and just make this 230 now let's draw another one okay in the first place we're going to need the height of this this is about 60. okay we draw another one here and let's undo that draw another one again of about that yeah that is fine and that should be 60. right let's change the color of that there that's brilliant and now then copy that across or get rid of the edges just delete that okay there's another edge here delete there might be one here as well delete that as well okay now copy that and paste it right in here have one here another one here and let's move them and we have enough room okay maybe one more would have been much better okay undo it all okay one here That's fine and another one paste get that in here one more get that in here and move that in tab it in a little bit more now select it all and press ctrl G now copy that paste undo that copy this very one one 
another one two three All right, so what I will then do is maybe move this one up here. Okay, we can then move this right in here, maybe increase the size of that to about 80. And just grab it, move it to somewhere in here. Yeah, you can then select it all and press Ctrl G to group it all. There, that makes it one. All right, now I'm going to select copy, paste, and paste one here. Let's move this to the edge and now paste another one, then select the transformator and just realign now let's copy that very one copy paste somewhere here there maybe we we'll copy one more paste one more there and then reduce this transform it and do that and let's move it right down okay that is fine all right so if you like we can always change the background now we can always change that to we can always change the background to whatever we want I'll move it down a little bit okay now what I need to do is, let's change the background, come back in here and just change the color of the background to something a little bit darker. I think maybe let's go for black and see how it will look like. If we don't like it, we can always change it. There. Okay, the black isn't that... No, let's change it back to gray. Gray. And maybe... Let's go for I think that looks like a little bit darker. Let's go for twos. That might be a bit darker. That's fine. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is let's import some trees in. Let's go to import the library. I'm right there on my desktop. I think I might have some trees here. Somewhere here. Yeah. There we go. I got some trees here. One. That should be in my desk. And that should be on my library. Let's import another type of tree. Import to the library. I think there might be one here. Let me import both, both trees and maybe import some beds. Okay, so go to window and select get my library on board. Let me hang it, hang it right there. All right, so the trees there. So this one, I'm going to lock that one up, open up another one, another layer. So this one, I can just call it buildings. And this might be this will be the trees. Right. So let's grab the trees now. Let's grab one of them and paste it right there. Okay, let's get the transformation tool and just make it a little bit bigger. Something like that. Then the next thing I is the next thing I'll do now is Let's right click and just convert it to a symbol. 
by 3 1 right okay now let me go to the property and right here I need this very one let's change the whole no let's come in here color effect and then the brightness we change that to something a little bit darker yeah and now let's transform it a little bit yeah and then we need to copy it now copy paste and just put that right there somewhere okay now we need the other type of tree that's the other type of tree let's look for that I think it's there somewhere yeah okay I'm gonna log this up open up another layer and call this tree number two tree two grab the tree two and paste it there change that and also I will then change this let's give it a name three two two okay that's fine now let's come to the property of that very tree two two and color effects where it says color effect change that change the brightness okay that's fine okay i'm gonna then copy copy paste a couple of those in there there's one more here one here one here let's add more of those okay yeah that's how it's looking right now if I go to control and run the scene this is how it looks it looks like darkness effect so let's come back and just add more trees yeah okay right that is how it looks now I'm going to need some kind of some type of animation across okay across let's come right here take this up a little bit uh, maybe right click check we want to change the the setting it looks a little bit too so that we have enough room for it and this might be too small let me make it 1006 good all right 1006 i'm going to copy everything now okay, let's select it all copy and paste right there let go that looks like a very busy city so if i run it this is how it looks for now all right so let's get some roads in between now let's go back to the file we need to import to the library let's grab a road Yeah, that's the rule that I copied earlier on. Maybe the yeah, the buses. Just bring that in. Come in here. So we now need a road there. Okay. Let's lock everything up. And we also need Okay, I'm gonna get the road here. Grab that and just dump it there. Let's copy that. Paste another one. And another one. Yeah. Okay. 
so the road move the road down so you can see this sort of a road there okay right on top of the road create another one that will be for the car right now lock that up grab a car there's a car there grab it here in the first place let's convert that to a symbol let's move it clip now let's change the color of it make it dark because it's a, yeah a little bit lighter yeah that's fine paste it right in there and we're gonna drag that across that's a car that we will animate let's go for about 120 bring it down and just press f6 right here okay f5 copy it across all right and i also need the root where's the root that's the root press f5 as well for the root okay now let's open up this root and just move it up a little bit okay that's fine yeah now lock up the road that is the car there move the car up and now we're going to press f6 here press f6 and then drag the car across keep going yeah that's a car right there that's fine now right click anywhere on the timeline and just select 20 and there that is it okay that is fine for the rest let's just press f5 to copy it across for the rest and here as well we have an f5 here yeah so that's it so when we run it now let's go to test scene so what you see in between if you guys can notice you see the car just driving along all right now the rest part of it here let's get some more trees there just to cover all that up okay i think that would do it the way it is yeah that's fine can you guys see that you see the car just dro drove past and let's get some more trees like i said earlier on so log that up where we have the trees here just add more trees in there now let's grab this one no oh, that very one that's fine drag it put it right there where is it tree number two here okay now i need this very one copy paste it there um, i will now increase that a little bit and let's change convert it to a symbol first yes enter tree 33 okay now let's change the property let's make it darker a little bit yeah that's fine and then we're going to copy it across press ctrl c just bring it down paste so maybe we need to in reduce the size select both copy paste paste more of those okay i will then speed that up okay guys that is how it looks right now so if i go to control yes test same this is how it looks can you guys see the car driving across look at that that is beautiful so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you will enjoy it you all have a nice day now bye for now